Hello, it's Sarah. And I have another couple of faux dories I wanted to share. Um, those of you that watch my videos know I have a little doggie named Kirby. And this fabric was actually um, one of the little bandanas that they put on her after she was groomed. And you know I love sugar skulls, so I made a little faux dory of Fabridori with the sugar skulls. And it was just, because they cut it like in a triangle, so I just cut, it was just the right size. But I only had one, so I put yellow on the back. I just had this fabric. Um, and then I put this little yellow skull charm on here with a cross. And I haven't made my books yet, but I'm going to make a couple of books for it. And I have a folder, and I have a little plastic insert. And I think I might list these on my um, my Etsy channel. So, But the other one I made, I actually painted. This is a project that I've had for years. Let's see. 04. So 11 years ago I painted this. And it's... Um, it's a little like notebook. You put a notepad and pencil in here. Um, I uh, happened to come across this pattern in another in a book. So the book it's in a where the heck did I put it now? Um, my desk is such a mess. Let's see, painting kitchen decor it's called. But anyway, here's the pattern. It's in here. And it's by Margaret Wilson, and I actually took a class with her at convention one time. Um, and so I painted myself a faux dory, a fabric dory. I just used um, this blue. I was looking for a denim material. I wanted to do denim, and this isn't denim. Um, I almost cut up a pair of jeans. But I ended up just finding this blue fabric that was in my stash that I had, and I painted it. So I I went ahead and I made the um, Kirby. Oh, that was Joe. I made the actual cover first. I just, um, you know, I did. I I. Uh, put the fusing, the fusible stuff in between, ironed it and got it all sealed together. And then I painted it. And it was, it was kind of a good pattern to use because as it turns out, I couldn't, um, usually I trace the patterns on because the book comes with um, a pattern. So you have the pattern in here. I'll show you if I can find it. So here's the pattern. And then you trace it onto a piece of tracing paper. And then you take the tracing paper and you, uh, usually on a, on a wooden piece, you use graphite. So on this piece, I would have just held it on there in the right place, see? And then trace the main outlines onto it. But I didn't, it wouldn't do it. I couldn't get the graphite to um, go onto the fabric. So all I did was just kind of it was easy enough to make a little watermelon shape and then I just put the centers of the flowers and the blueberries where they go and I freehanded the rest. I measured the border a half an inch all the way around so I just marked that with a pencil and just freehanded the checks. I sponged the background which I wasn't crazy about in the beginning but it's definitely grown on me um, because like I said it was just plain blue. But then I, uh, so I sponged it. And I do like the way that turned out now. And I'm thinking about doing um, a tutorial for this. Uh, I did use, um, it's called textile medium. And I think I took it off my desk. My desk is a mess. I'm trying to look around. Oh, it's right here. Hold on. So it's basically, uh, it, it, I guess it, um, it sinks into the fabric in such a way that uh, it, let's see, mix paint and this medium two to one, air dry design for 24 to 48 hours, heat set 30 seconds with an iron, 
um, but I haven't heat set it. I'm not sure if I'm going to heat set it because it's not going to get washed or wet. I mean, I think I'm feeling okay about it, but everything I did, um, I just dressed my brush. Do you know, those of you who aren't painters won't know what I mean, but instead of using water, I have paint, I mean, uh, <laughs> crap everywhere on my desk. But like, so instead of um, going into, uh, I have to clean these, the, I just dressed it with this instead of water and then went into the paint so that I could, and then, so it's basically mixed in there. Everything is mixed in there, but I sponged it with a sponge, but I just put the t this on the sponge first and then dipped it in paint. Um, and then every, I mean the dip dots I didn't put any on, I, that's just straight paint, but I figured since I already had um, put the texture, I mean the fabric medium, the textile medium is what I'm trying to say, um, on there it would have been okay. So anyway, and then the back I just kind of left plain. I did end up stitching it. I stitched it um, just like right along the lines of where the checks are. So it's kind of like at a quarter inch and then a half inch all the way around and then I was actually thinking of I on the next one I do I might put this button in kind of like make a hole right here and put the button into the, like I don't know how I would attach it like maybe with a piece of wire back here but I'm not sure and then you could um, use this and wrap it around like that so it wouldn't like uh, block any of the painting but I mean it doesn't look bad I put um, this daisy button on and I really like it this is just you know but I think if you see what I'm saying like the daisy button would just be over here I really like it I think it turned out cool and I'm because you know everything I make is my baby first oh and I did make some inserts for it I made I just made plain white paper um, with just blue. I used the pink in, uh, file folder and the blue plastic insert and then there's the file folder and then another uh, notebook. So two notebooks and two inserts. Um, and I might put these, I mean this took me, I made the whole thing today. It didn't take, I would say, it, t it didn't take like f five hours it took, I guess. Um, so, and if I'm, like, if I'm really, I don't know, wanting to make money, I would probably charge more, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, because right now it's my baby, and I just have to keep it, and then I'll make, I'll try and make a couple more, because I definitely can. Um, and I'm even thinking of um, finding other um, designs to do as well. This is kind of country, but I think it's super pretty. So, all right, I'm going to um, go see what this looks like. Thanks for watching.